Hey guys, it's Camille and I want to share with you something really exciting. I think I'm becoming a Jedi Master and I want to teach you how to do it and uh, so you can do it yourself easily. So uh, it's been happening to me for a long time. Every now and then I have a feeling that I want something to happen and I think, okay, this is done deal. I don't even need to do much about this and it happens. And it's spooky how it happens, you know, it's, so, it's done so easily. Some, something, sometimes I ask for something very specific and sometimes I don't ask for any, anything specific but for certain result to I want, that I want to achieve, certain feeling that I want to have, and it happens. So today I, I was thinking in the morning that I am, I've been a little bit uninspired for the last um, couple of days, or so maybe even, even weeks my inspiration was kind of going up and down but especially in a couple of days I was like uh, I can't be bothered to do this or that you know I'm, I'm not inspired about the things that I'm normally inspired about so I so I sent this vibe and I said dear universe get me something exciting something that will inspire me and and then uh, you know without again specifying what I said I just want to be on track on purpose uh, again so um, I'm talking to my girlfriend and she says, yeah, let's go to um, uh, do some shopping. I said, yeah, no problem. Okay, let's go, you know, whatever. And, and then she says, yeah, let's go to Enfield Town near us. And I'm thinking, okay, and uh, we're discussing it. And then I, I'm, I'm sitting and I'm having suddenly out of the blue, I'm having this thought, this idea, this inner knowing, this, just an idea, go to the Brent Cross Shopping Center. And Brent Cross Shopping Center, from where I live in Enfield, is around half an hour drive on fairly fast uh, road, so, so it's a bit of a journey. But nevertheless, I have this idea. I talk to my girlfriend and she says, maybe let's go to Watford. But something tells me, no, 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 let's go to Brent Cross. So we went to Brent Cross, we're walking um, in that shopping center. It's quite a big one, you know, a few levels um, up and down, left and right, you know. And, and uh, we haven't found anything exciting yet. And, and I was a little bit falling asleep. I got myself coffee, I woke up and I'm thinking, where is that exciting thing? Is it going to be a cheap um, uh, power play that I was looking for or a, or a deal on the camera that I'm looking for right now? And, and, and it's none of those, but nevertheless, I'm, I'm looking for it and we're going to the exit and we still haven't found it, but I'm like excited, I'm like anticipating we're gonna find something exciting, just where, where is that? And suddenly I look down the escalator as, as, we, as we're traveling down and I'm like, Oh my God! And I see this lovely red car, Tesla Moto, uh, Model S, Tesla Moto, uh, Model S car. And funnily enough, I watched a video about this car last night, and and um, and I was like, "Whoa! That's that's the thing! That's the thing! It's impossible that I was thinking about the car. That it's an awesome car. If you don't know anything about this car, uh, find some videos about it on YouTube. Google it." Uh, it, it's, it's amazing, it's the car of the future. Uh, funnily enough, two days ago I made a video about this year being the first year of the future. And it's happening, you know. And so Tesla car, as I mentioned in the video, it could be actually uh, driven automatically on an autopilot, but because of legal regulations the, it, there have been some <laughs> restrictions put on it in the UK. So I'm talking about driver, driverless cars and I'm sitting in one. And uh, so it could, it could still be used on an autopilot, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So I'm sitting in that car and, I'm, uh, and I w looked at this car and I'm like, my God, this is my car. I talked to the lady, she says, yeah, just uh, outside, we, we have the salon, you know, we can go and sit in the car. So I sat in the car, I talked to the guy, I booked myself a, a driving test and it just... And I'm excited again, you know, again I have a purpose, something to live for, at least, you know, I don't know how long it's gonna last, a week, a, a, a month or a day, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna find something else, if I lose this I'll find something else, but the, the message is that I can do it and you can do it, you just need to practice, you need to start acting from this innocence space, from this kind of um, suspend your disbelief basically imagine that you are a young child just newly born you, you're just like out there you have no clue about anything you're just like ee, ee, ee. and and when you are in that space not not necessarily that silly stupid space like ee, ee, but it's just like space of curiosity and that everything's possible what's gonna happen you know and you don't know anything about anything and when you are in that space then you can start requesting certain things from the universe and obviously start from small things so it's easy for you to believe but things that you know that it would take a big coincidence for them to happen and, and as they start happening your belief will start building and, and, and you will start conjuring up bigger and bigger things that's what I've been doing for uh, the last couple of years and, and it's working and it's, sometimes it's spooky for example I know when someone's gonna call me, I just suddenly have a feeling, I'm thinking about someone, my god, this person's gonna call me, and 
within a minute, five minutes, the person calls me or texts me or something like this. Not, not every time, obviously, but very often. And, and it's beyond um, uh, the, the kind of uh, statistical error, so to say, beyond coincidence. Uh, um, uh, I mean, it's, it just um, couldn't be a coincidence, basically. It's, it's uh, incredible. So I want you to practice that. And you can ask for anything you want. You can ask for specific things, for non-specific things. And very often non-specific things are better than specific because you might be asking, oh, I want to, to drive this car. I want to have this car. But really, there might be a car that's much, much better for you at a better price. And, and you know, just ask for an awesome car that would be perfect for you. And imagine how you're going to feel in that car driving it. So don't uh, get hung up on specifics. You can choose a specific model and imagine yourself in that specific model, but do not get hung up that it has to be this one. Just say this one or better or something better, you know. So that's what you need to have in the background. I'm driving this car, but it could be better. I'm just, what I want is the experience, the feeling. And, and, and the universe will deliver it in the perfect um, uh, kind of time and space. And don't, don't get hung up on the time when it's going to happen because you don't know when the best time for you is or for the universe to happen. The universe will put things together, but you need to keep the vibration, yeah, the belief. Um, so keep it there, be excited. Um, Tesla car, by the way, I haven't shown it to you. This is the Tesla car. Uh, so that's the model I saw today in the, uh, in the salon. Uh, so this is a view. From uh, the back, obviously, this is kind of a front view. Uh, it's not exactly this 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 one. Uh, this is uh, pictures from a website, but that's the model. And inside, it's got this uh, big control panel. It, it's it's huge. It's much bigger than iPad. It's I don't know twice as the size of iPad, at least something like this. So it's, you control your car from this uh, from this panel. Um, so all the options, the car, the ro uh, the roof, the heating, the air conditioning, you control from from this um, from this uh, control panel, the the electric roof, you know, it's incredible. It, it, it's it's an amazing car, and, and and that's why I'm so excited. And I'm telling you, start putting out the vibes, and things will start happening for you. So that's my first lesson. Not it's not my first lesson, but one of the uh, major lessons with real life examples of how magic works, how to become a Jedi Master, uh, how to uh, basically become a mind power person and start manifesting things in your life. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. I'm really excited about this. I've never been so excited. It's, uh, uh, it's, my, it's the best day of, my year, of the year, I must tell you. And you know, it's, it might sound funny to you because it's only, what, the, the f uh, 4th of... Uh, uh, January is it the fifth? The fourth of January today, <laughs> and so. But I'm I'm sure this is like the best, the most exciting day uh, of uh, the year, definitely uh, of the last year as well. So um, just make it happen. It's gonna happen. You just need to suspend your disbelief. Be in be in that innocent space. Find that space. Imagine you're a, a little newborn kid, and and everything's possible. And just be in that space and suspend your disbelief. Just suspend the disbelief. And give it, a, give it a go, give it time. Don't put the time frame on it that it needs to happen in 10 minutes, in an hour, in a day or in a week. Just every now and then remind yourself, okay, I need to get into that space and imagine I'm having it and enjoying it. Without even any details, you know, don't need to visualize, just have the feeling and, and excitement. So, like the video, share it with others and become a Jedi Master too. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.